because this will be Maryland and DC, won't it, over here? Yeah, it means that one. Cool, cool. Got it. And then that will actually give us some stuff to trade away. Once we get this, this initial batch of things built, I can get the trade sorted and we'll get supplies coming in. I don't like relying on overseas trade, though, because uh, we know what's going to happen with the world and the, the resource situation. King Carol of... Who's that? Romania. He's off. Oh, God, so there's a bad guys. Ah, well, they always were the bad guys, but... Proved artillery. Still in... Oh, in December 1940. Do I go for the next? Uh, that's not building anything new, so that's okay. This is behind. This is definitely behind. Let's go straight to Sherman's. And start developing the next level of tank. Ready to move. Put them in there, please. So I'm looking forward to controlling the seas via air power. That is my, that is my go-to tactic here. We're going to hope that it works. Did we build that up? Got the Liberty ships. Excellent. That gives us the an invasion speed. And trade convoys are now cheaper, so we'll build them faster with the same amount of dockyards. Research bonus for naval bombers. Let's take a look over here, see if anything else is locked up. It's a damn big tree, this. I don't think there's anything I... Oh, hang on. We can, we can end monarchism. Don't think we can, though, no, because that comes off there, doesn't it? I think we're done over there for the time being in that... Oh, wait a minute. Manhattan Projects. I don't think there's anything else we can do there. Nuclear technology. We shall worry about that in a bit. Uh, war plans division. Planning speed. We probably should do some of these. Fund the Navy. Okay, I could do... That's going to help. Naval Doctrine. There's a lot of Naval Doctrine to get. I should have possibly had that a little bit earlier. Were we not building an airfield on there? We are not. Well, we are now. We've got radar, haven't we? Yeah, that's, that's in production. Just one will do. Two will do. Oh, that's 400, isn't it? I only need 200, I think. Get that done quick. I like the build-up to war as the US. It gives you plenty of time to get things in production. When you play as a country like uh, like France in particular, that is a difficult build-up to war. Because you know you've got your frontline forces, you've got to get troops rushed out. But you've also got to build up the infrastructure and economy to support them when the war kicks off. And the Maginot Line and defences to hold Germany back. Uh, but when you, when you pull it off, it's good. But it's nice that the game gives you the, the the difficult choices to make. Can't go for that yet, can I? No, that's that's way too early. How are we looking up here? Heavy ships, that's fine. For now. We can go for bonuses. That's for that's naval mines avoidance. Do you know what? It'd be silly to, to get sunk sailing into a minefield. We'll go for that and then we'll get the naval attacks built up. Decisions available. Uh, it's all coming on so fast. Let's get that one on. And let's take a look at... Uh, we do have decisions available. We can put... High command... Tactical bombing, carriers, sortie. We might do that one. Oh, amphibious assault expert. I think we'll go for that one. Army logistics, division attrition. I mean, if we... We should maybe do that because supplies are going to be an issue in some places. Pacific, and if we get stuck into Africa as well. Naval air defense, carriers. Let's put a lot into carriers. I, Yeah, go on. Let's go with that. We'll go with that for now. So 
So we think the Philippines is, is well enough defended. I kind of hope it is. Japan demands French Indochina and gets it. Not great. How is that? Is this, is this how? No, that's French. I always get the two blues mixed up. Hey, Poetic Wine. Yeah, back to Hearts of Iron 4. Well, I figured as it's it's just gone the send the anniversary, I was going to say centenary, but it's not quite that old, the anniversary of Pearl Harbor, um, I thought we'll start a Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough. Remember, to, where's Tahiti? Where is Tahiti? Out here. I don't actually know. It was yesterday, yes. Hungarian bomber competition. Well, yesterday, Pearl Harbor time, it was the 8th of December, Tokyo time, because of the time zone differences. I don't know where Tahiti is. I've never been. I've never been um, out that way. So it's French Polynesia. So it's not, it's not actually called Tahiti in this. The Hungarian bomber competition. Yes, get stuck in. Let's show off the American bombers over there. So French Polynesia is is this bit known as new caledonia or is it some of this is it this area over here is it this whole area i see we'll come to that in a sec just hit pause chromium there's a lot of chromium there you are absolutely right well, that is something that we might need, but uh, we can't exactly invade free France now, can we? <laughs> but we'll keep an eye out for that. If the Japanese take it, we'll be in there. We have a base somewhere here on Phoenix Island, which is, is a naval base, a small naval base and an airfield where we're building up. Uh, we're going to control the seas around here as best we can. That actually does three sea zones. It's going to be these two, I think. They're going to be the, the, the more important two that I try and control from there. Going back over is... Wait, maybe, actually. Who controls these? Me. i would be fine. He'll be fine. Uh, okay, so we, we researched. I can't remember what reason. Re oh, it was that. That went fast. Ground support. Well, let's burn up a... Uh, let's burn up a bonus. Why not? And let's fire this up. Yeah, we'll have to get um, more naval bases in position if we want to make sure we've got supply out there. So let's take a look at the destroyers. What is this? Oh, is it? Maybe it's because I've got them in too big a group. Let's split that up anyway. Fund the navy. And that gives us the research naval doctrine bonus. Excellent. There's a research bonus for Marines 2 and 3. And research bonus for transport modules. Models, sorry. Uh, should we do the... What's the Department of Defense? That's command power. The Pentagon is more planning speed. Escort fighters. Combat air support. Hmm, first special service. Louisiana maneuvers? Research bonus for land doctrine. Okay, let's take that because I'm a bit behind on land doctrine anyway. Uh, let's split this up. Maybe I've got this too big. Or is it... What is that message that it's coming up with? It's probably that some of them, some of them in there can't actually... Don't have the range, I'm going to guess. Right, let's get all the 1940s out there and create a new task force with those. Now, do they have... What is that showing me for? Does it show me anything if I... Does it say no mission? It might say no mission set, does it? I don't know, actually. Sorry, that's the wrong one. 
No, because the rest, they do have a mission set. Or do they not? They should have. Anyway, let's split that up into... Can we halve them? And halve them again? Oh, no, I'm supposed to do... Right, let's, let's just select all that. Split it in half. And half again. And half again. And that's about the right size. I feel. He should... If I cancelled all my escorts, I must have cancelled all... I've cancelled it all. How did that happen? Hang on, let's, let's just let them catch up a bit. If I give this guy no... No, no, it's alright, it's got it. It is, it is there. Okay, I don't know what that means. You think it's no mission set? I, well, that's what it was suggesting, but they clearly do, so... I don't know what that is. Anyway, that's the mine avoidance. Hey, Finn, how's it going? USA is doing okay, although we haven't really been pressured into anything yet. So it's uh, it's kind of early days still. We've got reserve planes, yes, we've got underside divisions. Yeah, we're just making sure all our forces are forming up. We have what we need for the moment. That's what I was going to go and do. I was going to go and recruit a tank division. So I'm going to edit this. Uh, okay, we're going to go for 20 width medium tanks at the moment. We've got 65 to spend. Well, if we don't get all the way there, we don't. But That's up to 25. I think we will uh, remove that, which should give us some... How many? How much do I want in this? I've got to try and remember, actually. What's the organisation? The organisation's down to 24. Okay. Um, cancel that one. Let's edit this again. I think, I think I want 5 and 5. Oh, 6 and 4, I think I use. Let's see what that looks like. So put one of those... We'll just put one of these in. Motorized infantry. So I need the organization about 30. So if I add a medium tank in there, it stays at 30. That's okay. Just we'll get uh, we'll get that sorted out. Um, and we also want we need the good stuff. We need the engineers. Can I afford this? Yep, I can. We need we don't need anti-tank. We'll have armed recon. 55, and I can put one more in, which may as well be support artillery for the attack and save. We'll call this, um, what should we call it? We'll call it 1940 medium tanks, although we're in 41. <laughs> we'll call it 1940 mediums. And save. Yeah, the organization goes up. Well, it's actually dropped, but there's a, there is a, as you say, there's a talent in the tree. Um, to uh, to improve that and that will increase so that's that's not great at the moment but that's okay we're going to start building them out at that and i can probably only afford one at the moment what are we short of oh i need light tanks damn oh because i've got the, i've gone for the uh, the armored recon haven't i okay well that's fine we'll train these down in texas i think well we, we, we'll have a factory we'll go onto this and we shall add in just one lot of M3 stewards. Yeah, I forgot that requirement was there. Silly me. How are we off for this? We can drop out... <laughs> I think we can drop out some of the improved artillery now. Let's drop those out. That's looking a lot better. Let's put a couple in there. Numbers are looking much better. We can, we're going to up the aircraft as well, I think. So... Light tanks. We don't need a massive amount. That's going to be fine. One more in mediums. Aircraft. We can make a wing of strategic bombers now. I think it's always going to be naval bombers at the moment. Let's put that in. Okay, off we go. No, we haven't got into a fight yet. I mean, that is obviously coming. Let's time that. Uh, strategic bombers. Might not be that useful early on in the Pacific. I don't know if I'll have the range. So let's go to uh, Philadelphia. Anywhere over here is fine. I'm just going to make a wing to get them training. 
Nice, we've got naval bombers we can actually deploy as well. So, let's put... Um, we'll set that at 200. We might as well get them, get them training up. And we can go back to the Pacific. Nice timing. Ah, nice timing. Okay, so we've just created that. Great, we're where we want to be for aircraft. That's working its way down. Uh, naval doctrine is time to get ahead. Uh, escorting. We definitely want to improve that. And we're going to have to work on the carriers as well. And the subs. Man, there's so much to do. Get onto the B-24 Liberator. That's going to knock production down for a little while. Let's see what the trade is. I'm going to, I'm going to put the trade right now. Steel. I can't believe we're so far down on steel. That's bad. We can fix it later, but it's currently bad. Should we go? Should we help out the United Kingdom? We, we can't get much locally. We're going to help out the United Kingdom. We want seven factories worth. Go on then, because I need my military production upping. We're going to put two in there. Vichy France. No. We're going to spend some of these. And I'm going to put rubber production. We've got one going there. Let's put another in. Bang. So that should give us all the materials we need. Apart from chromium. Okay. Chromium we've forgotten about. United Kingdom. We'll put one on there. South Africa, actually. Yeah, we'll put another one into South Africa. We're going to have to deal with that. Okay, we're sort of... Here we go. We're levelling up our stuff. Let's make sure that our shells are as effective as they can be. Our production is now going to be increased, although our construction is going to slow down. It's still pretty fast, though. It's still looking pretty good for that. And then this is going to sort out our rubber production. Now, these, these things are slow to build. And um, we can interrupt if we need to with, with other, other projects. So I was going to put some more naval bombers into the uh, into the fight, wasn't I? I think we'll have them. What have we got there? We've got no naval bombers there. So let's put 100 in that. I can put those crappy medium, <laughs> medium bombers in. In fact, let's put 200 in this. And then I'll split them in half when the uh, the fight comes. We have space there. We have... We, well, that'll be full, actually. The Tizard mission. The, the British government have sent us a scientific delegation led by Henry Tizard with an interesting proposal. The British are willing to pull their research efforts with ours in several key areas as they do not have the industrial capacity to produce their inventions in great enough numbers. <laughs> no, they're on their own. We should aim for more long-term cooperation. That might be better. So we get instant bonuses for radar and fighters. But this... It doesn't. But I don't know if that then... Gives us something else. I think I'm going to go for the short-term one. We'll definitely go with that. I mean, that last option sounded like it, it might lead on to something else, but I don't know. So, we'll go for a short-term gain there. So, these airfields are filling up. What can we put into here? We've got more tactical bombers. We can put the interwar bombers in. Always amusing. Put another 100 heavy fighters. You can see we're making this just a massive air base. And we'll put, uh, we will put the 100 interwar bombers on. They'll get upgraded. Like train as well. The German Reich declared war on Yugoslavia. Okay, Yugoslavia will probably not last very well. Suddenly we have a spare military factory. What do we have? The tactical bombers. They're busy upgrading. The fighters. These numbers are looking better up here, which is good. Carrier fighters, they just they just need to upgrade, really. The anti-tank guns. I'm getting up to three a day, so... I don't expect to lose a lot, or need a lot, really, so I'm, I'm happy to leave that as it is. We will need more medium armour. There's just absolutely no doubt about that. I'm going to put it in there. 
But the aircraft are looking good, and I, I feel like I could fancy some more dockyards. What do I need? I'm on product, uh, produ producing, if I can get my words out today. Convoys are a bit low. Where's that carrier? Okay, that's a maximum. That's going to be 1942. Do we have another 10 convoys and turn out, start turning out carriers and battleships? Not convoys, what am I talking about? Dockyards. Where can I build them? There are one, two, three, four, five, six. Plenty in there. And these will thankfully get built up fairly quickly. And we'll, we'll end up with capacity spare as well, which is good. So Pennsylvania, shoot that to the top. And New England. We'll get those going. And that should get, we can get a second carrier. Because we've got the battleships, so we'll get the carriers. We need the light cruisers coming on as well. And we've got infantry weapons slowly, slowly, slowly being produced. Don't feel like there's an urgent need to do that. Let's see where else. Support companies. Mm, we could do with a maintenance company, maybe. Or the supply company. Supply company are good for the armoured stuff, aren't they? Because logistics are always a damn problem for those. Yeah, go on then. I'll start working those up. No, no spat with the baddies as yet. And we're into April 41. What will Japan do, we wonder? Yes, hey, my Marines. My other Marines are finished. Gives us four divisions under General Lucian Truscott. Put them into training. We can start adding tank divisions into those. We've got the Sherman done. I'm not going to bother with the... Oh, I might, I might do the light tank variants, actually of the AA guns. They're quite good if I'm planning on building any medium my 40 width medium tank divisions. That does work quite well. Go on then, get me a chappy. We'll have a chappy. Uh, we haven't got enough we haven't got enough stuff to really upgrade our tanks yet. With better design, so we'll just go straight for the Sherman. Yes sir. Nice. It's uh, slowly building up there. Another 10 divisions and they'll be have a, we'll have another army ready to do something. What's Africa looking like? Yeah, I thought that would very quickly go like that. Which also means that Free France is going to fall over here. So it's going to put the Axis in quite a powerful position. Oh, Free France is... It looks doomed, doesn't it? Just doomed. Vichy France has, has turned into the bad guys. We might be able to save South Africa if we get involved in time. The UK is probably going to be all right. I don't think I've seen... The only time I've seen AI Germany invade the United Kingdom was when me and my friend first our pl played our first co-op game as the United Kingdom. And then in about 1950, we were trying... To... Italy's taken Norway? Okay. In 1950, we were trying to save an American invasion of Norway. We were busy fighting in here. And the screen was like this. And we were so focused in, we didn't notice that Germany had come across the North Sea and turned all of this black. It was it was unfortunate. <laughs> Tunnel vision at its finest. But it was a, a good learning experience. All right, so Japan is now pushing up from this side as well. No, wait. Wait a minute. I think... Japanese are being pushed back. They're certainly under attack because the, the attacks are on this side of the line. Well, if they get bogged down in China, that's that's all the better for us. For now. Sorry, folks. Didn't realise it still paused. And the preparations, I feel, are now going well. Take a look at our ships. We've got a lot of... Oh, we'll have a load of new mine subs here, won't we? Not quite done. 
Not quite. We've got 19, 19 more strike submarines. And, and 18 more mine. Yeah, 18 more mine subs. Okay. We are churning out a lot of them. An awful lot of them. More destroyers, which we'll put in to... I can't remember which it was. Was it the 12? Probably must be the 12, mustn't it? Put them in there. And uh, three more light cruisers. Actually, three more light cruisers. We can beef up the Pacific fleet. What was that that just came online? Another destroyer. We should probably train these guys up before sending them out, but uh, we'll do that in future now. How big is... Is that nine? We've got... Has he got nine? Should say, shouldn't it? Nine out of ten, is that? Yeah, nine out of ten. So we'll split... We'll split that one in half. They've still got the orders. That's good. But I think we'll have one lot of... One big escort fleet. And we'll just assign it the entire world. Should give us an indication, does it, of the orders there? So we've got... Yeah, it's working better now that we split it into into bits. We've got 100% convoy cover. That's what we wanted. Mm, let's have a pause. See what I've missed up here. Uh, let's go Chief of the Air Force then. I've got to pick one. I don't really like any of these. The air experience might be a good one though. The night operations. Don't feel like we're going to be doing enough night operations to really be worth that. So we'll go for the air experience instead. And we might put some aircraft up here just to patrol the seas. What have we got left? We put some garbage up there. I mean, I really want either I want medium bombers or um, naval bombers. We'll leave it for now. I'll put them in when they're ready. What are we short of? Steel. That's okay. That's okay. We should now be starting to see some of this get finished. Japan declared war on the Philippines. Okay. Just hang on a sec. Let me just hang on a sec. Let's see what... Well, let's have a look at this. So, as our enemy... did, There was no message saying they were building up war goals, were they? Okay, so we've got the Louisiana maneuvers done. We've got the Army of the United States, which grants mobilization speed plus 20%. We're going to have to start thinking about this now, I think. Yeah, research for support artillery. Let's go down that. It started. I wasn't quite ready for that, but it started. Okay, so where can we send? They are, let's just make sure they are fully at war with us. Just see. War within the United States. Okay. The scumbags. I guess the war goal was against these guys, so... Well, let's let's hope that the forces we have put in position can defend. So let's start scrambling some fighters. What have we got? Yeah, I think the time for pilot exercises <laughs> has now stopped. We're going to have... I will put on port attacks. I don't think we'll get to see any, but I'll put them over there. What else have we got? We've got medium bombers. I'm going to put them on ships and ports. Now they can reach a bit further, so we can actually cause some trouble over the China Sea up there, which we will. We've got some more medium bombers. I might wait for them to be fully trained because these are going to be these are going to be terrible. The fighter group, however, is going to go for air superiority over the Philippines. And oh, we've got heavy fighters, which actually we can do this as well. So we're going to do that. We actually do have the range to enjoy that from here. And just, these are more heavies. I didn't realize I had so many heavies over here. You can see your wife's island from here. <laughs> Better defend it or you'll be hurt. Which island is that? 